What is up guys, it's Mikey Tamimo here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now I'm gonna say in advance it's 12 a.m. so I'm gonna keep my voice a bit down but uh, I do want to at least record one video today. Um, I was doing a recording just now before this one but that one was a full of talk of 45 minutes long on you know what I want to do why I want to do it, etc. So if you're curious, check out that particular episode. But um, unlike that particular episode, where it was originally intended to go to Bakaresh and you know explore Bakaresh, start the questing there, I didn't do that. I did walk a bit to an oasis, which was uh, surround, you know, inhabited with nomads and rebels, but um. I got a bit carried away and uh, therefore I'm now doing this episode so I can at least upload this video in particular to start the uh, Bakaresh episode but since it's 12 a.m. I do have to keep my voice a bit down because there will be people living here that might have to stand up early in the morning to get to work you know um, but uh, yeah let's go to uh, Bakaresh So once again, my sincere apologies for all those talking, you know, I know I get carried away sometimes, but uh, if you watch that video, I think you will understand my point, you know, and if you're curious on which video it is, it is the video just before this video, I'll make sure that that video will be uploaded before this video in my scheduled um, uploading at the moment which is about three videos a day one at 8 a.m. 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. Central European time but um, I'm not quite sure on what time or what date those videos will be uploaded this one included that's always one of the things that I will notice afterwards well you know it really doesn't matter to be honest but uh, we will go to Bakaresh most definitely in this video and uh, start the quest lining there. Alright, so let's see, where's Astaroth? Or Adaraz? You do that, sir. Hey. Treasure. Let me quickly get the booty here. Maybe there will be some healing potions or what have you. Because the gods know, in this character's case, Beliar knows that I need every potion that I can get. Healing potions, that is. At least until I have... Maybe, maybe not at some point. Regeneration remains to be seen. If you are, want to see a different playthrough, make sure to go to my YouTube channel. The Human Orc Mercenary, as well as the Path of the Rebel, are already on my YouTube channel, so you can find both already. If you're curious about that build, go to their playlist. Um, you know of those individual game and you will see the characters build in the fullest detail but uh, let's talk with Noot and all the other guys well the NPCs with a name and uh, see what we can do for these buggers hey I'm Knut and these are my men what are you doing here we serve no master and take whatever we want you're bandits then I prefer the term freelance adventurers we took this oasis with the help of the nomads. And? Have you got any plans? We've been thinking about attacking Bakaresh, but that's a few sizes too big for us. What if we attack Bakaresh together? You're really serious about this, huh? You see, this is not a mere village or an oasis. This is Bakaresh, the sacred center of the Hashishim. That means plenty of elite warriors, black mages, and booty. Yes, that's right. 
It's a one in a lifetime chance, but it's an awful risk nonetheless. We are going to do this. You need to be well prepared. Now, if you want to see Bakaresh being raided, I recommend you either follow the playthrough of the Water Mages, aka Adenos, or the playthrough of the Servant of Enos, aka the Rebels, both of which will liberate the desert in the name of their particular god. But uh, in this particular case, as my character already, my character already is wearing the Hashishin armor, this guy will join the Hashishin and fight for the call of Balear. So, are you in? You know, I can't decide that by myself, and I wouldn't take this on without my damn partner Reg anyway. Also, I have no idea what Adarus will think of this. I mean, the nomads helped us with the Oasis, but who knows what's really going on in their heads. If you make sure that Reg and that Adarus fellow are going along with it, I'll be willing to risk my neck. I'll take care of it. Hey, get your hands off my... Oh, what do you want? We want to raid Bakaresh. Are you in? Bakaresh? Hmm. There's a lot to be had there. Well, and how are we going to divide the loot? You know how it goes. While one man is still fighting, the next one is already opening the chests. And afterwards, nobody remembers who pocketed what and how much. So, what do you suggest? You get all of the loot, but you pay us for the attack in advance. Then I'm in. You know something about plundering, don't you? You know I do. Shall I teach you something more? Now, I will not pay him the 5k, but uh, maybe I will. But at the current moment, I can't afford it. So, no can do on that part, but uh, the servant of the rebel as well as the servant of the human orc mercenary will have their assistance in raiding Bakaresh. Knut sent me. We are planning to attack Bakaresh. We are not ready for an attack yet. Why not? Zinnikar isn't here yet. He was going to scout the town. What about you? What do you mean, what about me? I could help you prepare some more if you'd like. Find him. We're going to need his help. We will be ready whenever he is. Find Sinekar. Will do. On to Bakaresh we go. Now of course I will do what I can just to get as much reputation with the rebels, the orcs and the Hushishin as close as possible but there are certain actions I will not do if it disbenefits my particular side, you know. So when it comes to killing Zubin for Beliard, which I have to do at some point, I will not liberate the cities of the Hashishin in order to get, I don't know, reputation with the nomads just because I can. But I will do so when it comes to the orcs and the rebels. Because, you know, I have to infiltrate both of their forces. Because as a servant of Beliar, I will get a command to kill Zubin, to yeah. kill... What are you doing sneaking around? Looting like a boss, sir. Hey, you! To kill Zuban, King Roba, and Khan. And even though my character serves a particular god, his purpose is not destroying all of mankind or destroying all the orcs. His power is to 
do whatever is necessary to gain access to those powerful people to take them out without shedding too much innocent blood. I am Sinicar, and actually, this is supposed to be a hideout. Well, it's not hidden well enough. Obviously not. You can rest here for a while, but don't try anything stupid, and leave me alone. Atarus sent me. We want to take Bakaresh. How does it look? Are you in? Have you really thought this over? Are you in, or not? We'll need the help of the slaves. We have to make contact with them. You can move about the city freely. Find a slave who is ready to fight with us. One who can motivate the other slaves to start an uprising. Then we'll attack. Do that. I'll go to the Oasis. We'll meet there. Roger, Dodger. Hello, a Benny door. Halt! This is Bakaresh, temple city of the Hashishin. What do you want here, stranger? Are you one of the raiders? I belong to no one. Then stick with it and don't get involved with the raiders. Tell me something about the city. Strangers are not often found here. Seek out Ashnu. He will help you further. How are things? It doesn't look good. Nomads are roaming around outside the city. Those damn raiders have attacked the Oasis. Go to the city and report it to Silvio. Yeah, we'll do. We do need to drink, though. Because I'm thirsty. And when a man is thirsty, a man needs to drink. I am Silvio, and this is Bakaresh. Leave your weapon sheathed as long as you are in the city. And keep your hands to yourself. Then we'll get along just fine. I see. Then stick with it. What can you tell me about the city? This is a beautiful, serene temple city. And that's the way it should stay. If you want to go into the temple, talk to Amur. And if you want to gab for a while, go see Ashnu. He likes to talk a lot. Otherwise, I'll show you how you can deal with raiders. Do you have work for me? You want to make yourself useful? Akrabor is guarding the north entrance to the city. He hasn't reported to me for a long time. Go and see what's wrong. And while you're at it, check on Benito, too. He's holding the position in the south. Benito sent me. What does he have to report? The oasis outside the city was raided by nomads. Damn, that's bad news. Tisgar isn't going to like that at all. We'd better be careful in the south. Here, this is for you. And carry on. Your gratitude is boundless, my friend. A hundred gold would do that new. Broken. 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 I am Aldo. With me, you can always get what you need. And if Belia had not stricken my slaves with extraordinary stupidity, I could also offer you some artifacts. 
show me your goods. So your slave has been struck by uh, stupidity. Because you don't have artifacts. Shame on you, man. No, you need bison skins, hammers, <gasps> um, you need a pan, you need micro on the mandibles, saber tooth teeth, saws, and I don't need those, and wolf skins for quests and some of the other items for either weapon crafting, what have you. Well, at least I've got a bit of gold. Tiny bit, but... Hopefully I have enough arrows. Rest in peace, lions. Ready? F me. A little bit more damage than I uh, originally anticipated. Alright, now to re-kill those lions. God damn it, and they're full HP, which makes it even worse. <laughs> or not. Since I apparently didn't attack them yet, before I saved, which is good. Still sucks though, now to redo it.
already looted that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could use some, some mana potions as well. What a nasty sneak attack. <sighs> alright, alright, I'm gonna make use of a freaking environment. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, these animals, wildlife and what have you, deal a bit way too much damage. And, you know, the downside of this game is that if NPCs fight with animals, they never intervene with that one versus one particular. But if you do, well, they go full ham on your ass. Oh. Have to redo this again, huh? Or whatever. You know, at some point, I will uh, get sick and tired of the reloading and spam quick save like a boss. Don't you dare sleep. That's the way. Indeed. I hate the beasts. My booty. I saw an explosion arrow, or at least some sort of a loot. Oh well. Quick save. <laughs> Ooh. 
Gothic 3 Assassin's Creed. Goes right through them. Yeah, that may change. That won't do anything. More of the beasts. Hey, folks, there's a fight. Show him. Metafeka. That was the last one. You. Good job, Snape. No more arrows. And it's gonna be way too much beasts to deal with uh <coughs> with magic. So I'll take care of them in a bit. <coughs> I'm gonna first search for the uh final go old casket, here it is. So I can deliver it and then quickly teleport from region to region to buy as many arrows as I possibly can since the bow is the only long-ranged capability that I have aside from magic Curse it. What do you want? I didn't talk with you Do you need help? You mean regarding my imbecile slaves? You could slap them all silly, but what's the use? I have seen to that already. Actually, I meant those artifacts you're looking for. Ah, yes, of course. I am looking for three special artifacts in particular, you know. I have read some old inscriptions. They are small caskets. They belong to a priest of the Ancient Ones. He was certainly a well-respected man. And once I own those caskets, I too will be well-respected. I'll have a look around. 
If you bring them to me, your reputation in Bakaresh will go up as well. Yes, all right. I think I've got it. Here are your caskets. Ah, soon I will be the most reputable merchant in Bakaresh. Yeah, this is for you. Show me your goods. Can't afford it. Great. Like I said, I'm a poor bugger. Broke to the core. Welcome to Bakaresh. I am Jafar, weapons merchant. Feel free to have a look at my blades. I have only top quality merchandise from Benzala. You don't say Jafar. Show me your goods. You got some arrows? You do. Good man. Now as soon as H knowledge is gonna cost me 10 plus in learning points I will use the stone tablets to learn those ancient knowledge. My uh, sorry brother. I didn't want to get caught in your house. Too hard. Now make sure you do not steal too much, because if you do not have to make excuses like I do, well, I don't have that one yet either. But now you can only be warned once for stealing stuff and that will be after a certain amount and the second time will be after a certain amount. If you do have make excuses you make, you can be interrupted twice and then the third time is going to be devastating. So when looting these places I do not hope that I'm gonna do it a bit overrated you know. Why have you woken me? I just wanted to sleep. Right, so let's see what happens. Uh, what the fuck? No. <laughs> that conversation was a bit bugged. Well, you know, he said, Stop! Some valuable things have gone missing here. Do you know anything about that? And I said, no. We're watching you. That's only what he says, you know. Heard that too many times. Welcome, pilgrim. I am Carlos, slave trader. Well, hello, Carlos, the slave trader. How's business? So far, pretty good. I can't complain. Although, I could use some help anyway. What can I do for you? I still have a couple of slaves I can't get rid of. Listen, Aldo is crazy for ancient artifacts. He already bought some slaves from me that he has digging. And? The problem is that danger lurks in the ruins. Danger that gobbles up slaves. As long as the ruins are unsafe, Aldo won't buy any more slaves. I see. I'll take a look around those ruins. Go ahead and do that. If Aldo buys my slaves, 
you'll get a cut. Now, where is my buddy Ash? Or as I like to call him, Ash Ketchup. Welcome to Bakaresh, Pilgrim. I am Ashnu. In case you need information, mine is worth gold. What can you tell me about the temple? The temple is the sanctuary of Beliar. We donate gold to the Black Mages so that they may appease his almighty wrath. If you want to pray, you will have to make do with this statue down here. The temple is closed to all strangers. And the mool alone decides who gets to enter the temple, Pilgrim. What can I do so that a mool will let me enter the temple? You could work for Silvio, of course. Or you could fight in the arena, provided you are a strong and law-abiding son of combat. What else? Any other options? Well, we merchants of the city must pay our tribute to the Black Mages. If you bring a mool our gold, he will know that we trust you. Tell me about the Black Mages. The Mages take care of everything. They pray to Beliar for us. But they also see to the tribute, and they protect us. We are at their command, and Zubin, old and wise, is their leader. But you will not find him here. He watches over us all from his palace in Ishtar. Let me bring Amul your tribute. Of course I shall support your wish, son of generosity. Right then. What should I do? You need to convince Jafar, Carlos, and Aldo. Once you have their approval, come back to me, and I will give you the tribute. We are the chosen people. Wait for us. The I want to take your tribute to Amul. Do you now? But can we even trust you? Maybe you are working for the nomads, ingratiating yourself here in Bakaresh so you can steal our gold. What do you demand, then? I think we should not trust you with our gold. Unless you have pulled off some good deals outside of Bakaresh. What have you got to show for yourself? I conducted business with Nafalem. Yes, that is good. You have got experience. I saw that right away. You can go to Amul. You have got my approval. But I have so many more achievements, goddammit. I want to take your tribute to Amul. So, he let you into the temple? Exactly. Deal with this business in the ruins, and I'll have nothing against it. I want to take your tribute to Amul. You want to deliver our gold? This will increase your reputation with the Black Mages. Exactly. That's the point. Ah, uh, I like it. But certainly you know that you're not the only one who wants that. So... What do you suggest? You do your business with Amul, and you owe me a favor. Just a moment. What kind of favor? Once you have access to the temple, you will recommend me to the Black Mage, Sigmor. You want me to recommend you? Exactly. Let him know what a competent fellow I am. I'll see what I can do. I put my trust in you, son of obligingness. Twenty arrows should be dual. Let me do that in the next part. I think that's gonna be a bit smarter. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to be notified on whenever I upload content and I hope to see you guys in part 2 of Bakaresh where we will continue completing the quest like cleaning the runes so that Albo will sell uh, some more slaves so thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in part 2 of this episode or any other of my videos for that matter so thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time